let's pay our attention to 6.3 so 6.3 is saying that let's calculate the speed of the ambulance and then we can take the velocity of sound as 343 meters per second and the question has five marks that is because in this question you are not given fs uh, the frequency emitted by the source and you are not given fl the frequency observed by the listener so how can you possibly calculate the speed of the ambulance if you don't have fs and you don't have fl let's go ahead and find out uh, but then before we do that let's just go through 6.1 and 6.2 real quick right uh, so 6.1 it is saying that let's state a Doppler effect in words uh, we know fully well that it says that uh, it is the apparent change in frequency observed due to a relative motion between the sound source and the listener the apparent change in frequency observed due to the relative motion between the sound source and listener that is as simple as it can get right and then real quick 6.2 let's explain why the detector records a higher frequency so let's read through our statement so that we can have an idea of what's really going on so we have an ambulance with its siren emitting sound of a certain constant frequency uh, as it approaches an accident scene at a constant velocity a stationary sound detector at the accident scene records the frequency that is two percent higher than the actual frequency of the siren so the observer observed frequency which is higher than the emitted so we know fully well that the ambulance is moving uh, towards uh, the listener right uh, that is clear to see and now the question is saying that let's explain why the detector records a higher frequency so what this question is saying is saying that what makes the observer observe a higher frequency when the sound source is moving towards right uh, so you can see here on the right hand side uh, for 6.2 the answer is as follows when the sound source moves towards the observer the wave in front of the source is compressed right and then uh, that will result in shorter wavelength and higher frequency so when the sound source moves towards the observer the wave in front of the sound source is compressed resulting in shorter wavelength and higher frequency right so that is um, 6.2 and now uh, the interesting question 6.3 uh, let's see uh, what we have here uh, so 6.3 say so let's calculate the speed of the ambulance and then we're given the velocity of sound right so we have v being equals to 343 meters per second so let's uh, read our information and see which other information uh, we can jot down right uh, so we have some emitted frequency which is fs right of which uh, we don't know what the value is but we are told that uh, the frequency that the listener picks up is two percent higher than fs right so that tells us that fl is equals to fs plus uh, two percent of fs right so that's what uh, it actually means when they say that uh, the frequency observed by the listener is two percent higher than the frequency emitted right uh, fl will be equals to fs plus two percent of fs so it is exactly two percent higher than fs right if we can go ahead and multiply that further by taking fs as a common factor right uh, if we do that we're gonna have one plus two percent multiply by fs and then what is one plus two percent that will be 1.02 so fl is equals to 1.02 fs this is actually the difficult thing about this problem if you manage to figure this out then you're essentially done right so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, you know substitute in our formula and see what we can do here so we're gonna have fl being equals to v plus or minus vl divided by v plus or minus uh, vs multiplied by fs right uh, so what is fl we know that it is 1.02 fs and this will be equals to uh, the speed of sound uh, that is three four three right and then plus or minus um the velocity of the listener the listener is stationary right so we're just gonna have plus zero or minus zero there it doesn't matter same thing and then divided by three four three 
and then now uh, the sound source is moving towards the ambulance right so we're supposed to have minus vs here and then multiply by fs right so as you can see now on the left hand side and on the right hand side we are multiplying something by fs right so we can go ahead and cancel fs with fs right you can just go ahead and divide so that it can become more clear but then it is easy to see that fs and fs uh, they're gonna cancel out right uh, so if we do that we're gonna uh, be now left with uh, 1.02 being equals to 343 divided by 343 minus vs if we go ahead and uh, cross multiply we're gonna get uh, 1.02 multiplied by 343 minus 1.02 vs being equals to 343 so if we go ahead and make um, vs the subject of the formula we're gonna get uh, minus 1.02 vs being equals to 343 so now we take in uh, this term to the right hand side so we're gonna have minus 1.02 multiply by 343 three. it's easy to see now that we're going to divide both sides by minus 1.02 so if we go ahead and do that uh, we're going to get uh, vs uh, being equals to 6.73 uh, meters per second right uh, let's just do a uh, 6.4 right uh, real quick and move to 6.5 so 6.4 is saying that uh, the frequency of the sound source emitted by the serine is 720 hertz let's conclude the wavelength of this area sound there's quite a few people that will get these kind of questions wrong because you just forget how to do it for some reason uh, but we know that uh, the frequency is a cost to uh, the velocity divided by the wavelength right so the frequency is uh, 720 and then the velocity we know that is uh, 343 and then divided by wavelength so if we make uh, the wavelength the side of the formula we're gonna get uh, the wavelength being equal to uh, 343 divided by 720 if you don't see how that comes about you can cross multiply and do all that right yeah but uh, the wavelength will ultimately be equal to 0. 48 uh, meters and now the last one 6.5 let's take one use of the Doppler flow meter right so it is used to measure the heartbeat of the futures in the womb and then it is also used to measure the direction and speed of blood flow in arteries 